exact plan for mounting this headache rack, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the backhoe in first, set the backhoe up, and the, then I'm going to bring the service truck with the headache rack, back it in. We're going to lift the headache rack off the backhoe. We'll pick it up once we get it airborne uh, and see how it's feeling on the backhoe. Then we'll take those feet off, um, put the bolts through. The bolts are on the bumper there, ready to go. We need to put the bolts through, bring it over, put those four rubbers underneath so it sits on the rubber, and then we're gonna drop the bolts down through the headache rack, secure it, bolt it. I wanna give a thanks here to Ken too. He's coming to give us a hand. He brought us, he's from the Decision Makers group. Those in that group know him as Shrek, but he brought some pizza, beer, to help us give a hand to get this headache rack on. We're either gonna celebrate with beer or drink when I cross. <laughs> <laughs> Is this stressful? Uh, this is a little stressful. We've only, uh, you know, we only have our entire custom EDU and all the brains for this truck being lifted by a 30 year old backhoe. Good, good. We got the headache rack up there. It's it's going good. These guys know what they're doing. designed and engineered for those grab arms. Actually, that worked out perfect. Our measurement was bang on down the side. Is that a relief chase? <laughs> oh, oh, that was a super white guy. <laughs> you guys want to know the secret to doing high fives? What? You have to look at the other person's elbow when you do it. Seriously, try it. All right, here. Oh, yeah! It works Why every time. That? Why would that work? It works every time. <laughs> Literally, this is the, mo the thing I was worried about the entire build. Since we started designing this headache rack, getting this up and onto the truck. This is the one thing that we had no chance to get. We, we did anything that strong, we could fix it. We ding a door, dent a door, whatever, we could fix it. This is the one thing that had to go perfect. And it did. Cute it did. Look, she's a cute little head rack. Oh, she looks mean. She's thick, man. She's big. She's girthy. Yeah, we, we probably could have made it much thinner, but whatever. Okay, cool thing about how to start an old truck, you got a decompression lever. So you do turn the key on, pull out your decompression. What it does on these old trucks, they didn't have a powerful starter. So when you pull that out, it takes the compression off, lets the block spin freely. When you put it back in there, puts it on, fires up. It's really cool, and it's actually super handy for cold starts. So right now we're just running all the uh, high voltage cable. This is the cabling that drives the electric motors. This is zero AWG cable. That's a, and she's a skookum. What kind of wire snips did you use for that? <laughs> our wire snips. We got our old Milwaukee uh, wire snips here. We left a bunch of extra slack on here just because I'm not entirely sure how much Flowdraulic wants, but it's gonna go into the inverters um, basically just plug and play into the inverter and the back of the headache rack has plugs to take all that inverter power, run it up into the thing. So if you need to field service it, everything else is protected. Undo a bolt, undo a bolt, take your wire out, replace your wire. There's three wires 
per electric motor. So we have six electric wires, or high voltage, motor control wires in total, plus battery wires. Why did we put Eric in the middle? Yeah, the guy with the broken yeah, hand is this. doing the lip thing. If anybody is ever wondering, hey, am I smart enough to start my own company building this stuff? You just watch that. Uh, my business partner with the broken arm, we pointed as the lifting guy. So if you're wondering if you're smart enough, that's probably your answer. He's a hard okay. boss. He's a hard boss. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the one with the broken hand shouldn't have been doing the lifting. Oh, yeah. We just wanted to thank everyone that's been supporting us here and that. And we'll, we'll get right into it. First off, I want to start uh, Todd Coles. We don't get these before. We don't read through the lift. Todd Cozzolino. Cozzolino. Todd Cozzolino. Hudsonsville, Miami. No, Minneapolis. Michigan. <laughs> Michigan. 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 <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> okay, Richard. Looks like uh, we've got one from Neary Salagrua. What would you say? Oh, you're on your own on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, these, but, but he is from Bloomington, California. And then we have Thomas Bender. Wait, no, oh. one each. Yep. One each. Yeah. One one each. Each. We, we take turns. Okay. But you do have a line. And then there. over to Ken. Am I going to thank me for pizza and beer? <laughs> Ken brought us a pizza and beer. He came to the shop. Uh, those in the key decision maker group chat know uh, Ken and Shrek. Yeah. So he actually showed up today and brought pizza and beer himself. He literally showed up and, and physically brought it to the shop and then helped us install the headache rack, start installing hard hardware. That's the best supporters, ones that show up with beer and start pulling wrenches. That's how Richard showed up. He just brought beer and started pulling wrenches. Yeah, best way to do it. Uh, I would like, I like what you guys are doing. I build hot rods and custom cars so I can relate to the issue as parts. Jim Ford, Highway 101 Rod and Custom, Shelton, Washington. Thanks, buddy. That's a good name for a hot rod builder. Uh, that is a good one. Yeah. I got Nick Jordan from the United States. It didn't, that's all I got. From a hands-on mechanical engineer and home mechanic, I absolutely love how practical and user-friendly you have designed all your systems. When I work on my diesel trucks, it's always frustrating how difficult it is to service some things due to the lack of design for serviceability. Keep up the great work and practical decision-making. Thank you. We got Damien Mann. Um, from Edgar, Wyoming. Um, uh, loving this season of letter, Kenny. Joking aside, you guys are creating the future excellent works. Although that might have actually been Todd's. Although there might have been a name missing. Because Todd couldn't be from Hudsonsville and Grand Rapids. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, also, maybe Damien said, keep it up, best wishes for you all. <laughs> Because that says Damien Man under it, so I'm going with that, Damien. <laughs> okay. We're getting close here. Some people said some things. Thomas Bender, Salt Lake City, Utah. I've enjoyed following along with the builds and hope to work with you in the future. Thanks, Tom from Acme Overland. Yeah, come here anytime. That's how these two showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got Daniel Waters from Charlemont, Massachusetts. I love what you guys are doing. I know logging is thirsty work, so I imagine building a loggy truck is too. Can't wait to see the truck hauling a log of lo load of logs soon. I got Eric Meku from Kelowna, BC. Thanks, buddy. I got Charles French from Plains, Montana. You guys need a hug and a slap on the ass. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Sorry to hear about the loss in transit headache rack. What a bunch of crap. Yeah. True with those guys, but it's here. The headache rack's here. <laughs> It's no longer lost in transit, at least. Well, it's perfect for to say that. I have David Hawley. He's from Armor Armorillo, Texas. And then so, the next is David Leon. That might be the next guy, but we'll try anyways. David Leon, thanks, thanks for, for the, the content. content. And transparency, and thank you all for the decision-making tier. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are my lists that bad this time? Hey, you're yeah, not yeah. Yeah. Man, no, no, I just no, copied no, it no. over. Okay, I've got Mark Darawanko from Kenora, Ontario. <laughs> nice. Nice. Michael Sean Wood from Comox, BC. Some of the th best things in life start with the coffee in the morning and end with the beer. Nothing is different as Edison is, is built. Bolt by nut to start, then truck by truck. Then the future is efficiency. Brothers, you've got it all wrapped up. Keep it up, fellas. I cannot... Add to the company on knowledge or skill basis, but I'm happy to contribute to other costs that come up. I really want to be a part of Edison and help out. Thanks, buddy. Oh, thanks, oh, man. Thank That's you. Really thank nice you. Pretty sweet. Yeah. I got Luca Dejuris Olsen from Faroe Islands. 
That's cool. Faroe Island. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's I looked nice. it up. So there, I yeah. looked it up. Do you know where that is? No. So it's, specific? It's by between um, the UK and Iceland. Oh, oh yeah. it's the, that's the oh. Of the the name Atlantic. makes more sense. Yeah, that's that's yeah, very that's cool. Yeah, cool. By the hood. Wow. I have a name here I'm going to have trouble with. Stephanie Rollier, perhaps? Mm -hmm. From some particular place in Switzerland? What is that? Y V E R D O N. Jürgen. That's Jürgen? Jürgen. Switzerland. Switzerland. Keeps, keep it safe when you cut corners on assembly of the truck. And then the winky face. And call me. Kahoot. Kahoot. Oh, if you showed me out on video. Oh, so Kahoot from Switzerland. Kahoot. <laughs> <laughs> that that here. These are great lists. These are yeah. awesome lists. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to like that on purpose. Uh, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's working. Okay, I think my next one was uh, Shron, or Sean Tross from Spring, Texas. I want to come and visit. Love the project. I want to buy more stuff. I got Ronald Brain from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I got Lars Björk from Norway. Uten mach om drik duga helten ik. It translates to without food and drink, the hero is a useless bag of bones. <laughs> Broken or not, your bones are anything but useless. Keep on trucking. Ah, thanks there, Lars. Looks like Shelton Gosen, box 612. No, don't. Yep. No, I don't. No, 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 Why is it on here? I don't know, because. <laughs> I have so many jobs I have to do, and I'm not a clerical person. That's a social insurance number. <laughs> okay, it's uh, Spiritwood, whatever SK is. What's Saskatchewan. That? Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Okay. And that's me. All right. Uh, Jeremiah Shepard from Victor Harbor, Australia. When you're at the Fully Charged Show, can you please do an interview with Sandy Monroe from Monroe & Associates? Oh, we'll see if we can. We got time? Sure. Monroe. Try and find them? Yeah. yeah. I got James Ford from Shelton, Washington. Thanks, buddy. Hey, you got James Ford. I got Jim Ford. Hey, they're both from Washington. You think they're related? They're both from Shelton, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Both guys are related. Yeah, wait up. Yeah, thanks, thanks Jim. guys. Best list ever. All Jim right. James. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, everybody. And how did they get How did they get on that list? Oh. Uh, this is... Sorry, I should not have eaten pizza while I had to talk. <laughs> this is Ken. <laughs> he brought the pizza. Um, <laughs> If you want to get on the list, uh, shout outs, these are all our supporters, people of a bought coffee in the morning, round of beer for the boys, pizza, come out and help turn wrenches and all that. So we're just thanking those people helping us along the way. And if they go to our website, there's a list of like support in there. So thanks guys. Really it, appreciate it. It's in our merch store. The merch store on the website. Yeah, that's that's yeah. where it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.